Hi guys, John Ambrosic here from Smail GMC. We're going to go a little quick tutorial today um, on how to hook up your Apple phone to Bluetooth and use Apple CarPlay. Um, so we're, what we're going to do, we're using the GMC IntelliLink. Um, very easy to get in and do this system. You're just going to go out here. This is the radio screen. You're going to touch the phone icon here at the top. You're going to go into your settings on the phone, into the Bluetooth settings. And what we're going to do here on the screen, we're going to touch pair device. And right here at the bottom comes up GMC IntelliLink. You're going to touch that. Gives you your code here. You want to make sure that those match. You're going to touch pair on the phone. Yes on the screen. Now on the iPhones, it's going to come up and ask you to give it permission to allow your contacts and your favorites to sync. You want to hit allow there. And then we're going to hit OK here on the screen. Um, once you hit allow on the screen, what that's going to do then is it's going to pull your contacts over to the vehicle itself. So you'll be able to touch here, go here to the contacts, and it's going to have all of your contacts listed there. That way there you can do your hands-free calling. Um, once you're in here now, the Apple CarPlay, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take your factory USB plug. Um, Apple and GM both recommend you use the factory plug for the best connection. You're going to want to connect it to one of the USB ports in the vehicle. So I'm going to just plug it into this one here in the front. You're going to touch the home button on the screen. It's going to come up now. You're going to have something that's going to say projection. That is actually going to be for your Apple CarPlay. So what you're going to do, you're going to plug into the bottom here. You're going to get a display come up telling you about the Apple CarPlay. You're going to want to hit continue. What you're going to get now, it's going to automatically go straight into the Apple CarPlay. On the phone, it's going to ask you if you will allow it to access while the phone is locked. You're going to want to hit allow there. And what that's going to do is now when your phone is shut off and locked, you can put it off to the side, but still be able to use your Apple CarPlay. Um, you have a home button down here, just like you would on your phone. If you touch the home button and audio brings you back out to your main screen, to get back into it again, you're just going to touch the home button. Now your projection has turned to where it says Apple CarPlay. You're just going to touch that and it's going to bring that up. Nice thing about that, it's going to allow you to use your phone. Any text messages you get, you'll actually be able to do that while you're driving. You're going to get a banner across the top of the screen like you do on your phone. You're just going to touch it. You have to have Siri enabled uh, for this to work. What Siri is going to read your text to you. Um, and then give you a chance at the end of that to answer back. Send text back and forth that way. For a vehicle that doesn't have navigation, this is also nice because you can go into your maps on your phone and it's going to pull those straight up onto the screen. So it's like having navigation built in without actually having to pay the extra money for it. Down along the left side, you're going to have your last three apps on here that you've used. So any type of music that you have on here, anything that doesn't require any type of reading, um, will basically pull up on here for you. And again, the other thing it's going to do, anytime you access the Apple CarPlay, just disconnect. And at the bottom of the screen here, it's going to show you that it connects back to Bluetooth. So the Apple CarPlay basically overrides the Bluetooth. So anytime that you disconnect, it's going to tell you that the Bluetooth has been connected back. When you plug back into Apple CarPlay again, they're going to show that the Bluetooth is disconnected. It's going to tell you there that it's been disconnected. The Apple CarPlay symbol is going to pop up here again. You're going to touch it and take you right back into Apple CarPlay. The other nice thing that you can do is you can actually, if you go into your radio screen, you can actually drag that projection app up on here and put it as a shortcut so you don't have to continuously hit the home button to go back and forth. It'll just be right across the top of the screen for you. If you guys have any questions about pairing your phone for Bluetooth or using the Apple CarPlay, leave a comment in the comment section below or contact us online at smailgmc.com.